Hi and welcome to this Blueberry Markets video update with me, John Kibler, Head Currency Analyst. In this video, we're going to take a look at Euro Oz as the large higher time frame head and shoulders pattern could be about to complete. Now, in the Forex market outlook or the week ahead analysis that we did recently, we talked about the fact that the commercial long contracts on the Australian dollar from the commitment of trader reports suggested that the commercials are heavily long in the market, which could start to see the Australian dollar gain some strength. We have also seen uh, recently in the strength meter that it has declined slightly, the Aussie, but it's still kind of holding around similar positions for the past few weeks now. So it's not really gaining strength in terms of um, against uh, most currencies, but it's not weakening against them either. So it's kind of plateaued slightly. And combining all this together, we could also kind of look into the fact that through the month of October, uh, the Australian dollar typically does rally. So all in all, we could start to look to potentially buy the Australian dollar if we do get the right technical factors against some weaker currencies. And one of the weaker currencies of last week was the euro. So I wanted to look at this chart to see where price was at because we actually recently talked about Euro Aussie a number of weeks back due to the fact that we saw this larger, higher time frame head and shoulders pattern where we have the left shoulder, the head, and the right shoulder forming here. Now look where price is at. Price is now back at the neckline of this pattern. So what we wanna do is identify whether price is gonna bounce from this point or break through now because we've just gone over those factors of the potential for the Australian dollar to gain strength what I would be looking for is potentially price breaking through these lows completing the head and shoulders pattern and seeing price retest and move to the downside now where could that price move to if price breaks out well typically what we look at when looking at head and shoulders patterns is we measure from the top of the head down to the neckline area which is just these lows through here if i measure that up currently for this uh, euro odds it's around about 500 pips so if i just move that down into the neckline sort of zone that we have marked out here it's kind of suggesting that price will come all the way back down potentially into these lows if we do get a measured move from the head and shoulders pattern so that could be an area that we could look to target in the future if price was to move down obviously we have other areas of interest as well there's a nice area running through here around about uh, 1.57 this area here where we can see that price has acted as support and resistance before in the past. So if price was to break and close below the neckline, these are the two areas I'd be looking for price to come into um, in the sort of long term. Can we trade it now, however? Can we trade it back down into this point? Well, if we actually go into a four hour time frame here, we can see the slight downtrend that's being developed. We've got the uh, market forming lower lows and lower highs in this short period of time just through here. And price has recently tested the previous swing lows and found some resistance. So what I would suggest here is if price was to break through and close below, we could look for uh, short term trading opportunities if price was to break through the swing lows, come back, retest them, and give us a bearish reaction. So we could look at trading Euro Aussie on the short term and mid term in line with the outlook for the Australian dollar. So keep an eye on this chart. This is one that we should be watching due to this higher time frame head and shoulders pattern. Um, let me know if this one's on your watch list too in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the YouTube channel to see some more Forex content, and I'll speak to you in the next video.